What is up everyone and welcome back to part 3 of Red Dead Redemption 2. This guy has been shouting at me constantly to skin this deer. Ew. Oh! Oh, good god! Woo! Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money of course right now i'm just looking to get off this mountain alive well if you catch anything else you bring it to me sure <laughs> thank you mr morgan heck arthur morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years <laughs> yeah well we're on the run now everyone's got to do their bit to survive just make a good stew folk need it been a tough few days. <sighs> Ew. A few days later. The Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more info. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Everyone ready? All right, let's head out! So it's very much Dutch's way, or the highway, basically. I'm starting to realize why John and Dutch never saw eye to eye. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. 
You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! How good is this music? our first proper mission that we're going to be doing. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast, now it's thawing, before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at it, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now, everyone, shut up! And get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Okay, what's the oh. safest way to get down? Okay, we'll go down this way. Easy does it, Pony. I'm building up a pretty good relationship with my horse just now, which is always good. Oh. Okay, so I think maybe I'll just leave my horse here for just now. Look after the other one, please. Thank you very much. Uh, where? Oh, there he is. Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Whoops. Good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Are you sure? I feel like I should stay down and help out, maybe. Come on, boy. All right, so we're just gonna get back up here. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Was that like a... It was. 
was a, a bird literally just like came at me. A western raven. Oh my god. Okay. Western raven can be found in a variety of habitats across the states. As omnivores, their diet consists of grain and seeds, but they prefer to scavenge for carrion and eggs of other nesting birds. A bow with a small game arrows can be used to kill or wound a bird of this size, or they just fly into me because that's what it did. Total completion challenges story okay right well fair enough i guess it's just really weird i, I want to watch that back afterwards and see why it flew into me like that <laughs> really weird everything okay i think so everything's good okay cover your faces the train should be here any minute now Includes you, Arthur. What? What did you want me to have? You never. What? You never said. Cover your face, Arthur. Oh, cover my face. Oh. Okay. Um. Ah. Okay. I was like, what? Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Shit, no! What? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find? Moral. You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Why am I pathetic? It wasn't my fault. I don't know how to set this crap. Here we go! Geronimo! Ah. Uh. Okay. We gotta hurry. 
I'm we have to up. stop this train. We have to stop That's this train. That's what we're doing, kid. hard to tell which one was my guys and which one was the bad guys <laughs> so I just stopped let's shooting just right. to make sure yes let's get the money and go we got some fellas holed up in this last car ah, shit. what are you boys planning on doing in there listen to me we don't want to kill any of you any more of you <laughs> I give you my word but trust me we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Ho ho! Give me that. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Come on out. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we my. just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> I feel like they 
they keep changing the buttons for Look at this place. It's like doing things. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Damn door when I say so. Okay, so we'll take that Get with us there. for just now. What else have we got? There's another letter here. Ha. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <sighs> Give me those. Oh shoot, I never actually flipped that one. I don't think there would have been anything on the back, but I don't actually know. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? So we got a a cigar. Another boat as long as I live. No, this looks like some. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Literally just doing that, my friend. Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> hey, Bill Stack, inspect the card. Is that everything? Let's hurry this along now. I'm just having a look. The other guys weren't very thorough, so I'm just checking. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> It's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Um. Okay. Get on the train, quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul. I swear. Dude, get on get the fucking on. train. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. So, am I just gonna like throw the train off the edge, and then these guys are gonna just go down with it, maybe? I'm starting to think I probably should have taken <laughs> my horse. <laughs> okay, let's get back on here. Um. on your little train ride. I'm kind of playing this like the nice person. I feel like a lot of them don't really deserve to die. They're just working for the bad people. So with that being said, I don't necessarily want to kill them. I would rather just like let them go back and then maybe tell them what I've done so then they can like send a message and all that good stuff. Put that book away and go help. Oh, Mary Beth. So are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. 
We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. actually getting goosebumps. Lenny! Micah! Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. God, I wonder if you could actually have this go off the side of that waterfall. <laughs> I don't want to, but I'm curious. Get us out the street! Oh God! Come on, ponies! Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah shit! Okay, let's take a look. Um. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. I don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <sighs> <laughs> there, there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Uh oh. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So. Oh my god, I was yes. reading that. The Indians in these parts. So, compass. Oh! Alright, so okay, that's right cool. Here. I do like this having it a bit bigger on the screen. Too. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. Spider Dutch's talk. 
I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. That's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. So it's herbs. God, my voice is bad today. These can be consumed to replenish your core as used in cooking or to craft items. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. I did notice that, that there's um, a big, like, Wikipedia that you can fill in along the way with the game. So Arthur and John don't much like each other, and there's a little bit of history there. there history are, that I don't know about. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Come on, then. <laughs> okay, let's go. Anytime. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Place. It's perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, 
We have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> oh, she's savage, my god. Right, and that is the end of chapter one. So chapter one being all about being in this snowy place, learning the basics of the game, and now finally it seems it's gonna open up a little bit and uh, we'll have a lot more rain of the place. We got off the mountain, and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> <laughs> so useful as ever, then. Ooh, it's got a camera. <gasps> Look at all the stuff around here. There's so much to see. Um, where do I even begin? So we've got a bunch of missions that we can go to. I wonder if we should speak to her. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. 
I don't know why it gave me the option to antagonize. So I'm not allowed to speak to Dutch just now. What about this lady? Can't speak to Molly. So there's a little camp box just there. Each day Pearson will make stew which you can eat from the pot. What have I got to contribute, if anything? Give item. What have I got? I've got an engraved buckle. Can be sold. Can be sold. So all of that is for selling. Alright, um... I mean, I could give money. What if we just donated... Wait, there's two bits of money there. There's 780, which I think is what I've got. And then there's 192. So if we say five. Oh, no, okay. So the bottom is what I have. And then the 12 is what is in the box. Okay, that's fair enough. And what is over here? Be a good day. Oh yeah. Crafting upgrades. Let's have a look at this then. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. John's lodging? Oh wow. Sweet. So I can actually upgrade everyone's lodging. You need to bring me the right materials first, Mr. Morgan. Okay. There's a lot of different things that I can craft. So it's got all the recipes, camp tables, main campfire. Oh, that's cool. Wolf skull. So at the moment, there's pretty Just much thanks, nothing I can craft, which makes sense. What exactly is... Oh, so there's the pot for eating. Which I don't think I need to do. And of course, there is chickens. Is that guy still alive? I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. You seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there now. So we still have, um... The prisoner. Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks. Nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. That's amazing. So he like follows me around, even if we're in the middle of having a conversation as well. What's up? Miss Grimshaw, I apologize. Okay, so we've got a mission there. Um, let's just go ahead and check our map real quick. So it's pretty much just the one. The uncle mission. Uncle needs to speak to you. Okay, that's fine. Um, health supplies, probably best to have a quick look over there too. Ammunition, what was that? Oh, that's for storing the food, and then that's for eating the food, that's for donating to camp, that's my horse, and that's the mission. Okay, I just wanted to learn everything going on in the camp so that we can get cozy in it. But unfortunately, that is all I got time for in this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.